Hey everyone, um, what we're going to do today is a craw jig, uh, and it happens to be on a 1 8 ounce poison tail jig with the size 1 mustad hook in it. Um, I'm doing a lot of this head right now, uh, getting ready for the springtime, so um, it's a versatile head, and I like using it for a lot of things, and uh, this craw pattern is one that... Um, my fishing buddy told me he did not want to, uh, he didn't want me to do this, but, um, I figured I would, uh, I'll put it out there and this is going to be one that I, I never named this one, but, um, one of the guys that subscribes to my channel, uh, I'm going to name it after him. It's going to be, uh, I'm going to call it the DC craw. So let's get started here. I'm going to get my, uh, black two tendon air flat wax nylon thread and we're gonna get a thread base started as you can see I like I did in the other ones I cut that um, ring off because I don't need the flare and uh, this jig is gonna be completely different so uh, I'm gonna have to mess with that holder a little bit so we're gonna go all the way down right just before the bend of the hook if you let your bobbin hang, it would probably be close to right at the hook point there. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our olive marabou. And what I do is I save quills that aren't, that aren't quite good and I tear the material off the side so I could use it for these types of jigs. And we're going to tie it in. It's maybe a quarter inch, maybe a half inch beyond the, the bend of the hook. And what I'll do is I'll move my thread up and I'll tie up to here because uh, marabou is pretty fragile if you don't tie it in. Uh, so I'm going to trim some of this junk off here and then I'll secure it now that's secured really well that's not going to go nowhere all right now that we got that the next thing is I'm going to take a little piece of brown chenille and normally I keep the chenille on a card so I don't uh, waste any. But in this case, it's going to be a little different because of what I'm going to do with uh, the body of this. I'm going to start wrapping my chenille. And this is medium, uh, a medium brown chenille. You can get it at Cabela's. Ultra chenille works well too. And you get three or four wraps in there and we'll tie it off and trim got to be careful that you don't snip your thread okay now we have that the next thing is the claws and this is going to look funky, but trust me, it uh, it works. Uh, I don't know why, but these colors seem to work really well. This is orange barred crawdad. And we're going to tie these claws in on each side. Got to make sure I get a good hold of the the leather here and what you'll notice I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pinch this leather so I could tie it in sideways uh, basically what I'm trying to do is fold that leather in half so and and I'm only doing that so when I tie it in uh, it gets a good bite just because of the type it is the type of jig if I tie it in just flat it might move so I'm going to pinch that there we 
go. You know what the easier way would be is if I just took super glue and put it on there, but uh, I'm not going to do that. It'll take me a little longer to do, but I just prefer not to use uh, the super glue at this point, especially for this jig. I always worry I'm going to get it on the hair and it's going to mat it down. And um, I got to move this back a little bit further because you want these claws to be anywhere from a half inch, um, three quarters out the back. Less, you could do less. Um, you you won't get as uh, big of a profile, but it it um it has a nice look to it, no matter what you do with it. And with this, because of that holder, I have to be very careful that I don't have the claws move out of position on me. So I'm trying to hold it extra tight. Okay, we got that in. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put some antennas in. And I'm going to flip the vise up. I'm going to take two pieces of regular round rubber. And... We're going to tie them in. We're going to want the ends just about even with the claws, maybe a little further, just a tiny bit. And once we get it, tie it in. I'm going to cut them little tabs off. And we have our antennas in. Like I said before, my buddy does not want me to show this. Uh, it works for some reason. Now the next thing we're going to do is take some silicone strands. What I did was I took two silicone strands and I cut each in half to get four of them this size. And for this jig, in this color, I'm using this... Um, striped silicone it's uh orange blue and brown you can use whatever color you want um i don't know if the legs matter but i think the action helps and i'm getting ahead of myself before i tie them in i wanted to show that what i'm going to do is take a piece of crawdad orange and our medium brown chenille and I'm going to tie them in here and twist them up uh, to save some time. I already did that uh, by hand. And what I did was I took the ends off and I twist them together and I'll tie it in by that to make sure it's in there. And I'll be twisting this as I go because you can't get it as tight as you need to uh, unless it's tied in. So I'm going to flip this back up. I'm going to take my piece of silicone and tie that in there. Get it that it's secure. I'm going to take a second piece. I'm going to go up here. If you lay it across and just crisscross your thread, you can get it that it'll stay tied in nice and straight. Now I'm going to go turn it back. I'm going to work my thread back down to the first piece of silicone strands. I'm going to put the second one on the back to be the number three, actually. I'm sorry, I'm going to confuse you. 
And just like I said before, that figure eight type deal. This is the hardest part of this jig is getting the silicone strands because the, the hair gets in the way and the strands are long. Okay. I'm going to work back up to this first one. We're going to tie the last one in. You're basically going right over top of the ones that you already tied in previously on the other side. And then I'm going to work it back up to the head. Now it's tied in. We're going to wrap our chenille. And as you can see, I already had it twisted up to get that color blend. This is something we messed around with. Uh, not really thinking anything of it. We just want to see how uh, that orange craw color would work in our waters. And it works so good. My buddy said, don't ever put that up there. But uh, I figured since I'm tying some up, I didn't never put it out there. I'm going to. I don't have to keep everything a secret. You got to make sure when you're wrapping this that you split those silicone strands otherwise you'll end up uh, trapping them and you don't want to do that you want them to be able to have some freedom of movement almost I apologize. Taking so long here. And tie it in. And then trim my chenille off. couple more wraps and then I am going to whip finish it but before I do that I'm going to take a bread tie and I'm going to pull this silicone back these legs and I'm going to secure them with the bread tie just to keep them out of my way so I can finish it And just in case you're wondering, um, sorry about that, I have to move the camera a little bit, I have to get my bodkin. We're going to put our head cement on with that, since we got the chenille wrapped up to the head. Dip it in there. And we are good. Now let me get you, show you what this is like.
I'm going to have to put this down for you to see. But um, Darren, if you're watching this one, this is for you, buddy. This is the DC Craw. I know it's funky looking. It's orange. It's olive. It's got some strands. But that is very effective. Um, and it stands up really well. These little antenna, they're rubber, they'll float up. Works really nice. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.